Hey, what's going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will share with you guys 16 iPhone features that you're most likely going to use on a daily basis on your iPhone. Of course, iPhones are packed with features and some of the better ones and the most useful ones are actually hidden. A lot of people don't know about them. So in this video, I will show you guys 16 of those that you'll probably use a lot. Now we're starting things off with the notes app. So when you go to one of your notes and you want to edit a text, so let's say we want to format this piece of text right here. I don't have to select this row at all. All I have to do is just place the cursor right there at the end of that sentence. And I think can go here and you can see I can actually go ahead and format that without having to actually select the text at all. So you just place the cursor right there at the end of a sentence and you can go ahead and just like that, just format it without having to select the piece of text. Next up, we have a Siri trick. A Siri can actually mark your parking spot. That will work sometimes even automatically when you have your iPhone connected to your, to your car. But if you just don't want to depend on that because it won't actually detect it every time, you just can not ask Siri. Mark my parking spot. And just like that, in a couple of seconds, Siri will mark your parking spot on the map and you can go back to the map whenever you want to go back to your car. Moving on into the weather app. Did you know that on the weather app, you can see the hourly forecast for today, but it will also work for the next 10 days. So right here, we have the hourly forecast for today, and then we have the 10 day forecast. So if we tap on today, we can see the hourly forecast just by sliding here, but you can actually move through the other days, the next 10 days, and actually see the hourly forecast for each of those days. That's really awesome. And if you wanna move from the temperature to other things like maybe the wind or the visibility or the UV index, you can just tap there, move here, and then see that by hour as well. Since the release of the app library on iOS, whenever you want to delete an app, it will first ask you whether you want to delete it or you just want to remove it from the home screen. But there is an easier way to actually delete apps. You can do that simply by going to settings, general, iPhone storage, and here we'll see a list of the apps. And what's really great is that you can also take a look at how much space those apps are taking on your device before deleting them. And here's the option that you will have here. You swipe on an app like this, and you can go ahead and upload the app from here, which means that you can just remove the app but save its data, or you can delete the app completely. Just like that, simply by swiping on any app, you can go ahead and delete them from your device. Now here is a very useful feature on iOS 16 that a lot of people might not know about. Go to settings under accessibility, scroll down here, we'll find live captions. Enable this and it will show this player, which actually will show captions of everything that is being played on your iPhone. So right here you can see if we have a video there, it will actually show the captions for everything that is being played out of your iPhone. You will have the controls here. You can even go to full screen mode if you just want to see the transcript right here. You can see how cool that is. Of course, you can hide it if you want and you can pause or start listening anytime you want. Now, here is a feature that has been on iOS for years now, but a lot of people actually don't know about. So let's say you want to turn up or down the volume of your iPhone all the way. You will have to press and hold here or just repeatedly press on the volume buttons. But what you can do is just press once and once it shows the volume hood from here, you can just grab it and scroll up or down to turn up or down the volume of your device really quickly. On the App Store app, when you go to your profile and you go to the apps that you have purchased, you will see a list of all your apps that you have purchased with your Apple ID, whether they are on your iPhone or not. So if you have apps here that you want to actually hide from your account, all you have to do is just swipe like this, tap on hide, and that app will be removed from your Apple ID. Another thing you can hide, hide alerts from different conversations on iMessage. So if there's a conversation that is actually just bothering you, you can actually go ahead and hide the alerts from that conversation simply by tapping on the contact. You will have here a button to enable hide alerts and you're good to go. 
Now when talking about messages, here's something really interesting and important you need to know. Head on to your settings, go to general and go to iPhone storage and make sure you find messages here. So if you use iMessage a lot, you will probably have a ton of data there because of course you will receive images, maybe videos, different documents. But the easiest way to find out about them and delete them is by going to storage. When you go to messages, you will see you have something different here it's not just like every other app it will show your top conversations then it shows the photos that you have there and the videos that you have been sent or received on your i i message so from here you can of course go ahead and clear them you can tap the edit button and just select any one that you want to delete and delete them from here that way you will save you will save actually a ton of space on your iphone another really great way to save space on your iphone is by enabling low quality image mode for iMessage. So if you send a lot of messages and you receive a lot of messages and pictures, of course, you can enable actually low quality images by simply going to settings, go to messages, right on the bottom right here will have low quality image mode. That way you will receive and send low quality images, but of course that saves a ton of space. On the Files app on iOS 16, you can actually 3D touch on any folder, whether that's on the My iPhone folder or any other folder or files that you have, and you can tap on Get Info. Now right here you will see how much space that folder is taking on your device, and of course when it has been created, modified, where it's saved and all that stuff. You can also of course open it from here, but you will actually have here a full like sheet of different specs about that folder. Now when on the files app and you delete files, you will actually have them on the recently deleted folder, just like you do with photos. Now what you can do is head onto the files app and just 3D touch on the recently deleted, tap right there and you will be able to actually remove the files completely from your device. The notes app on iOS has gotten really great lately. With iOS 15 and iOS 16, Apple has added a lot of features to the notes app and it's basically one of the most used apps of iOS. But what you can do there is also create checklists which are very useful. Now what I suggest you do is head onto your settings, go to notes and go to sort checked items. Now if you have a checklist, you want it to be automatically sorted. So when you check something, it just moves right to the bottom so you don't have a mess of things there. So make sure you go ahead and choose automatically, then you will have all the unchecked items at the top so you know that you have to do those, you have to check those and then you will have all the checked at the bottom and everything will be done automatically. Now this feature right here has been released some time ago but a lot of people actually don't remember about it. Head on to your home page here and go to the edit mode, tap the dots and when you go here you will see your home screen pages. Now if you want to change something here, let's say you want to rearrange these, the easiest way to do that is simply drag it right here. You can actually rearrange your home pages any way you like. You don't have to bother moving apps or moving widgets, you can actually just change the pages anytime you want. So if I just want to place this as the first page, I can do it as easy as that. You can see now this is the first page on my home screen and that's how easy it's done. Moving on to the app library. Now, when you go to the app library and you want to find an app, you go here. You might not want to type the name of the app, you just want to quickly find it. The easiest way is by tapping right there on the letters. So if I just want to find an app that starts with the letter M, I just tap on M right there and there I have the app starting with the letter M. That's how easy it is to find apps on the app library. Now another cool thing that you can do on the app library is slide your finger across the letters here. That way you can quickly slide between the apps that you have on your app library. You can see how quickly you can go from the top to the bottom or vice versa. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course all the hidden features that you saw on the video. If you did smash the like button, subscribe for more and I will see you on the next one.